I? I am one who can love God. You might think that's a pretty confident statement, especially for a pastor to make. What about us lowly pew sitters, those of us struggling to make it through each day, hoping to be faithful to God in this messed up and broken world? I'm talking about you. You can indeed love God. We often see the Ten Commandments as commands, rules, regulations, boundaries, and they can function that way. But look closely, especially in Luther's small catechism. He gives you ways that you can see these words positively as a way to show love and to not be afraid. Three commandments that deal with your relationship with God. He alone is your God. Use his name properly. Make time for worship. How are they explained positively? Well, love and trust in God above all things. Call upon his name in every trouble. Pray, praise, give thanks. And then hold his word sacred. Gladly hear it and learn it. There is no peering down his nose at you there. Rather, these are words of invitation and love. Your God wants to spend time with you. He wants to hear from you, to hear from you in prayer and praise, to hear from you and those that are gathered together in worship. As you go about your life, it might be hard to think of how you keep those commandments. But don't only think of them as barricades to keep you on a path. I mean, they certainly do work that way, but not only that way. The God your Father has given to you in Jesus multiple ways to hear his word, to receive his gifts from you, to respond to what he's given you. And that's the key here. God himself has given you the ability to love him. He has called you by name. He has made you his child. He sustains your faith by all that he does. And in response to all of that that he has done in giving you forgiveness and life and salvation, you respond to him in thanksgiving, in praise, and in love. It's a pretty good deal, actually. He's done all the work. You give thanks for what he's done. And in that thanksgiving, and in that worship, and in that prayer, in that setting aside time for worship, the world around you sees you making time for your Lord and your God, your Savior and your Redeemer. They see that God is important to you, and those actions are you acting in love towards the one who has given you everything. Life and breath and shelter, a future and identity, and ultimately eternity with him. He who loves you more than anyone else in this world ever could. Thanks be to God.